Hey, my name is Andrew Goodwin, <laughs> and uh, I am going to show you how to do fade in, fade outs with one key command. Um, so normally, uh, in the past, I've come in here, I have to select the audio tracks, and then, you know, you have to drag the front, and you drag the back, and then you can kind of zoom in and start, like, adjusting each fade, um, you know, as you're going through doing your work. But it's just it's just the fact of having them set up initially with one key command. I figured maybe there's a way to do that, right? So let's undo those. Um, and watch. I'm going to press 9 on my keyboard. Boop! It's done. To me, that's just much quicker. It makes me happy. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, undo those real quick. All right. So all you've got to do is go to key commands and I'll just do it this way. The first thing we'll do is we'll click the button Show Macros, and then we would say New Macro, and we're going to name it. Let's say, uh, I'm just going to say Video. So I'll know to delete this after I'm done. You can name it whatever you want to name it. And so that's the title of your macro, if you've not done this before. Um, and then up here are all the commands that you can add to that macro. Um, that's kind of the idea. So up here under the audio folder, you will scroll down. You'll see kind of a, a bunch of different things related to fade in, fade out. So two of them are increment fade in length and increment fade out length. So you can probably add them in either order. I don't think it matters, but you just click on one of them. And with your macro selected down here, the one you want to add it to, you click add command. And see now it's added that command. And then you come back up here click on the next one, fade out length. And the macro is still selected, and you go over here and click add command. And so now, this macro will do both of these things at the same time. Now, the way you sign into key command is you come up here to these folders, and there's actually a folder for macros right here. So it lists every macro that you created or is already in um, Cubase. You can see I've messed around a lot with it. Um, so video is one of them, so we could click video, and then over here on the right, we can assign it a number, it's probably going to get really mad, uh, let me do something that I don't care about, let's see, beep, maybe the, the 8 key, sure, we'll just do 8, so you click assign, um, and so now, when I press 8, it's going to execute the macro that we created, which will increment and decrement the fade-in, fade-out length. All right, all right. I said that wrong. <laughs> it increments both of them, whatever. So you can just select it, press your newly designed 8 key, and there you go. Um, I just I thought it was awesome. It was super simple, and I felt that everybody needs to know this. All right, have a good day. Bye.